hi welcome to another exciting tutorial today we are going to create a 3d mockup inside of blender 3.0 and photoshop let's get started make sure you have your blender installed for you to be able to follow along if you don't jump into your browser and search for blender.org right click download blender download and install your blender when you open your blender you'll be greeted with this splash screen we we'll go to general to get started so we have our default cube our light and then our camera okay we do s for scale g for move and r for rotate okay so yeah we are going to create a, a, a an, an ice cream cup so we are going to use a cylinder for that so we we need to delete this this cube so we do x delete and delete this light as well x and delete All right we'll do shift a to add any primitive we go to mesh and then we, we choose our cylinder okay i'll tap n to bring out this i'll go to item to bring out this item property so i'll change the dimension to 0.5 and the x axis and the I, y axis to 0.5 and then on the Z axis, I'll do 0.34. We have this. Okay. So we jump into edit mode. From here, we have object mode. So if I hit tab, we move, we, we enter into the our edit mode. Okay. So we have three three selection mode. We have point selection. To select our individual points. We have edge selection to select our edges. And then we have our face selection to select our face. So we are going to choose face selection, select the bottom face. We do S for scale. We scale it down a little like this. We select this face, X, X for delete. And then we are going to delete our face. So that we have the inner part of our ice cream cup right there. So this right here is very thin very very thin so let's add <coughs> sorry let's add a solidify modifier to add a little bit of thickness to our, our model so to do that we hit tab to jump out of edit mode we go to our add mod modifier property we add and we set for solidify right so we set it to about 0.01 so we have a little bit of thickness like this. We can increase, let's increase it a bit to 0 0.02 like this. Okay. So we have a thickness like that. So I'll come to the bottom, tap into edit mode, select this bottom face, I for insert. I'm going to insert it inside. I'll do G and Z constraint to the z axis i'm going to move it in inside a little like this i'll do i for insert again and i'm going to bring this down so g z and i'll bring it down just like this okay so we have the inner part of, of our cup nice so i'll tap out of edit mode i'll go to my solidifier surface solidify modifier and then i'm going to do apply to apply the solidify modifier to our model okay i'll tap into edit mode again Control r to add cuts to our model i'll scroll the mouse wheel up to add more cuts so i want three cuts i'll left click i'll right click to apply my cuts like this i'll do Control r and i'll add one cut somewhere here i'll select face i'll go to face select mode i want to select this face all these faces the, the ring around but to do that i'll hold alt and i'll click here to select go to my extrude along normals if you don't see you go extrude along normals and i'll extrude it outside a bit like this that's fine so we tap out of edit mode we add a solid a subdivision surface modifier to get a smooth geometry add more add more subdivision to our, our mesh so click subdivision surface and the level viewport we are going to make it two 
So we have this. Okay. I'll right click and do shift smooth. I'll tap into edit mode again and tighten up. The roundness is too much at the edges. So let's add some loop cuts to tighten it up a little. I'll do control R for loop cuts and I'll bring it to somewhere here. Control R for another loop cut and I'll bring it here. Okay. I'll do a control R for loop cut. I'll bring it here and I think it's fine. We do a control R inside, we'll bring it up, control R, and then we bring it down. Okay, so we have this weird shading going on here to fix that. We are going to face select mode, select on this face, and do X for delete, and we delete this face. Okay, we do. We select the other one x and then we delete that one as well okay so we go to edge select alt click on this edge and we go to faces and we do a grid fill okay i'm going to decrease my span to four i'm going to do the same the same thing inside so i'll select i'll do alt click and then I would face this and great feel. I'll change my span to four. So, so there we go. We have our cup. Let me add another loop here to tighten it up a little. So I'll do Control R click, then bring it up. Right here. Okay. Tab out of edit mode, and there we go. We have our cup, our ice cream cup ready. So up next, we are going to set up our scene. I'll bring my mouse cursor here click and drag to open another workspace i'll bring it here drag it up to create another space here okay and i'm going to bring it here click and drag to open another workspace here so this workspace is going to be for our shader and this will be for our uv editor and this will be our camera setup okay and to hide the body so I'll, I'll click here to toggle camera view. So this is what we have. So we are now viewing it inside our camera. Okay. So I'll hit N to bring up this tool and I'll go to view and I'll lock camera to view. So we will not be able to move our camera. Okay. But we can move our, our shape and position it inside the artboard like this. Okay. So let's add our backdrop. Our scene. So we do Shift A, Plane, and S to scale it up. Okay. And with our backdrop selected, I'll hit our Tab Tab to enter into Edit Mode. I'll select this edge right here. I'll do E, Z to extrude it in the Z axis. Up like this. I'll do G to move the this edge up a little. Okay. I'll click, I'll select this edge again. I'll do control B to bevel and I'll bevel it to something like this. Scroll here up to add more loop cuts to our bevel. Something like this is fine. Okay. The side end to hide this panel as well. So I'll, I'll jump out of edit mode, right click and then do a shift smooth. So we have our seamless background ready. So we select our cup. We do a control A and we apply our scale and then we click on this to, to see to see our cup in, in, in the right photographic view. I'll hit G and Z and then I'll bring it up somewhere here so that our cup is lying right on top of our backdrop. Okay, so we have our cup ready. Let's quickly set up our, our lights. So to set up our light, we are going to use an HDRI. Okay. So we, we, we come here and then we change to weld. Okay. But before, make sure you have your node Wrangler add-on in input. If you don't, you quickly head to edit, preference. You go to add-ons and then we search for node Angler. And then you, you check that you check here to enable it. Okay. So with our node wrangler add-on enabled 
we, we select this background here select we tap ctrl t and then it will add this to to, to our, our background here okay so that we can add our we can add our environmental texture which is which is the hdri to the scene okay or we are not seeing anything here so we have to switch this mode to render mode so we'll come here and then we click viewport shading okay and then we we go to our render properties change the render engine from ev to cycles okay so there are a lot of the reason why we are seeing a, a pink a pink background here everything is turning pink is because we don't have an NHDRI inserted so let me quickly set this to GPU compute okay so to get an HDRI there are a lot of places okay you can search for HDRI Haven they have a lot of awesome HDRIs for free to download okay so we come here and then let's say we, we like this we click on it and then download okay we click on download and then you download your HDRI and make sure you know where it's, it's, it's being placed okay we are, because we are going to use it later in so with your HDRI downloaded we go to open and then you locate where you, you downloaded the HDRI into okay well for me I'm going to use this photo studio one 4k HDRI so I'll select it and then I'll hit open image okay so now my HDRI is it's lighting the scene i don't have any lights in my scene but then we are having light because of this environment okay so this is why we are using to light our scene All right okay so let me decrease this frame to something like points point point seven point seven is fine okay so we have our HDRI light set up. Now let's unwrap our, our ice cream can so that we will be able to apply our label to it in Photoshop later. Okay, so to do to unwrap our ice cream can, make sure we have our ice cream selected. We tab into edit mode. Okay, and we, will, we are going to hide our subdivision surface for now. So we click on this icon and then this. To hide our subdivision surface okay so we are going to select this edge here make sure you have your edge select mode active alt alt click to select this edge you tap u and then you do max scene so we are going to mark this scene so we are going to show blender where it should cut it should cut and then unwrap so that we will be able to easily apply our We'll be able to easily apply our label to it later on in photoshop okay so we we do we do unwrap and then we select alt click on this edge u maxim okay so we, we will look for a line that is pep that's directly in line with our z x axis so it will be this line here okay so we do click not alt click click and then we hold control and then we click here okay so it's going to select this part here we do u and then maxim okay so we have our we are done with our uv unwrap okay so we do we bring our keta right somewhere inside our shape we do l to select all and then we do u how to select or you and then we do unwrap okay so this is our unwrapped unwrapped ice cream can here so we are going to apply our let's bring this up a little we're going to apply our label to this surface here and then it will be applied to the ice cream can automatically okay so let's change this to object for now Okay, let me bring my mouse cursor here and L to select all these and then I'll do G to move it somewhere here. I'll bring this here L and then I'll do G to bring this one out as well. Okay, so let's make sure this is straighten 
as straight as possible. The reason why it's curved is because our our our, our ice cream cup is, is is in a slanted shape. The the size at the bottom is a bit smaller than the the size at the top. So that's why it's curved. But we have to make it straight, okay? So first we do L to select all. We are going to rotate it on the Y axis 90 degrees. So we have something like this, okay? And then we do G to move it inside our UV like this. Okay. So the way we are going to make this straight is we are going to use follow active quartz command. Okay. So we have to make sure one of this one of these phases is straightened and then we use it to straighten the rest of our UVs okay so the way to do this is we make sure we have our we hit one for edge select for point select so we select this point shift and then select this point okay and we do s y and then we do zero okay so we select this shift and then we hold shift select this x y and then we do zero okay we select this one and then this point x x and then we do zero we select this point and then this point s x and then we do zero okay so this point is straight with 90 degrees with 90 degrees edges okay with 90 degrees angled edges okay so we are going to use this point to straighten up the rest of our cuts okay so we we hit three to go into face select mode L to select all the faces okay and then we hold shift to click on this 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 face right here we do right click and then we do follow active quads so click outside and then you see everything is now straightened up perfectly our UV is now straightened up perfectly I'll do L to select all then S to scale it up a little bit to somewhere here okay so to continue with our edit we have to take this uv right into photoshop so that we have, we make sure we have the proper dimension and um the proportion and everything is right okay so to do that first we have to come to edit mode preference then we go to file path application image editor right so this is where we select we choose our image editor so you see you click here you set for where you saved your photoshop so in my case it's in the c programs file adobe photoshop photoshop 2020 and then you select your photoshop dot exe file and then you hit accept okay and then you close this tab so now photoshop is integrated into our blender file automatically okay so as we export our uv layout we are going to go to uv and then we come down to export uv layout right i'm going to locate my ice cream folder here you can export it anywhere you like so i will export my ice cream cup export okay so we are going to edit it in photoshop so i'll quickly open photoshop and then locate my ice cream my ice cream folder so I have my ice cream cup here okay my Photoshop opened so I'm going to bring my exported UV layout and then we create our label inside of Photoshop so to do that I'm going to drag and drop my exported UV inside of Photoshop Photoshop is going to create a new file for me okay so I have this file here, All right? Make sure I'll select this layer. We want only this, this UV layer, okay? So we have to, we have to copy this layer and then create a new file. So with with this dimension. So to do that, I'll select this layer. I'll do Control C to copy. I'll do File New, and this the the dimension of this layer will be added into my clipboard, which is. So this is the dimension of the layer okay i'm going to increase the resolution to 300 300 
and then i'm going to hit create so i have the exact dimension of our uv so i'll come here then i'm going to drag and drop our uv inside of photoshop okay i'm going to align it to make sure it fits properly okay so we'll do shift s to save our uv so i'm going to save it inside my ice cream folder ice cream so we do ice cream you can name it whatever you want i'm going to name it ice cream label okay i'll save it into in, in psd so we have our ice cream label saved okay so let's start creating our ice cream label i'm going to hide the uv here i'm going to hit on view i want i want to add a, a new guide layout so i'm going to do new guide I'll make sure the number my number of number of columns and rows is set to three and three okay i'll hit okay and then i have this guide layout to work with i'll hit t i'll hit t my photoshop is running slow i'll hit t for tests for tests Ooh. i'll click inside and then i'll type the name of my ice cream brand which is uh okay i'm quickly going to choose a nice font My Photoshop is running slow today, but please bear with me. I'm going to increase the font a bit, center it like this. Okay, hit tab, I'll hit C for tests, select. Now I'm going to create ice cream. Change the font to Too little. Search little. Bold. And I'll do all caps. Okay. Bring it here. Decrease the size to four. Center it. I'll, I'll hold alt to alt click and drag to duplicate my ice cream layer and change this to since 1995 okay. we're going to hide we are going to add a slight warp to it send it to arc we set the warp to 20 it's fine we have this nice ice cream label okay we're going to hit on shape then we add a new shape background shape to our layer bring it to the back let me change the color to something like this okay select this and change the color to white okay Let me know if you would like me to do an in-depth label design tutorial. Please, if you would like me to do, share your thoughts in the comment section. Okay. So we have our, our label almost ready. Let's add a little bit of texture to add, to make it more nice. So to do that, we are going to create a new layer and hit our brush tool, right click, and then select a dry media brush. Okay. We hit here. You can copy my settings we add shape dynamics okay so that we add a lot of size difference we add scattering so that we can scatter it along we add we leave the we leave the texture transfer and smoothing 
thick as well okay so this is what i have see so i can add my textures to my ice cream label i'll do a control s to save my ice cream label okay so now let's jump into blender and see how we can import this label into our, our blend file okay so we jump right into blender we come to open or search for my ice cream and then my ice cream label here okay so i'm opening i'm going to open the psd file inside of blender i'll hit open and there we go our label is nicely imported okay for some reason let me bring it here so you can see clearly we have to scale it on the y axis so that it fits with the label perfectly so to do that we do l to select all s and then y and we scale it up in the y axis let's do g to move it let's scale it in the in the x axis a little bit s z In the x axis a little let's do g and then make sure we have it it's nice and centered okay i'm going to select my render view okay let's do Control s for save okay and then i'm going to save it inside my ice cream ice cream model save Save blender file okay so we have our uv unwrapped and ready to go but to apply it on our on our cup make sure we have our cup selected then we are going to hit new to assign a new material to it we're going to change the base color to something like this blue okay we tap into edit mode okay and then we bring our cursor here and then we hit l so it's going to select all our scene so basically our uv okay so we come to our materials property tab here then we hit plus to add a new material okay and then we hit assign assign we hit plus to add a new material slot and then we hit new to create a new material like this and then we hit assign to assign it to our object okay so this material 006 is now applied to our seam or our uv unwrap whilst the material 005 is applied to the whole of our objects here okay so let me quickly rename this material to label and then we'll bring it up and then i'll rename this to base color okay thanks so i'll tap out of edit mode and this is what we have so with this label selected, I'll, I'll select my principal BSDF shader. I'll do Control T to add an image tester to it. Okay, we have image tester. I'll click on this one and then I'll click my ice cream label we added earlier. So when I hit on it, our ice cream label is applied to our ice cream cup. Very nice and easy. So with this setup, let's say we want to edit our color a bit inside of Photoshop or we want to add something, we just have to jump into Photoshop. Because it is PSD, we jump into Photoshop, okay? So let's add some shapes at the edges. So I'm going to select my curvature tool. I'm going to hit click, 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 click. And then add this shape, hit shape. And then I'll click here over right here and then i'll hit ship i'll click somewhere here now hit ship and then i'll click somewhere here ship ship and then lastly let's add another one here ship okay 
let's select all and then hit one to decrease the opacity to 10 i think let's make it two three two is fine okay so we have this design going on here so if i do control s okay and then i head back into blender you can see it's not updated but to update it we are going to go to image and then we do reload or alt r to reload r to reload so we have our image here okay but for some reason it's still not updated on our materials tab here so to update it we are going to click on this and then select our ice cream label once again okay it seems not to be working so we are going to remove it from the base color and then put it inside again still not working supposed to it's it's inserted it's updated okay so you see here is the shape we added here and then here okay for more drastic change let's try and change the color to something green and see so we come to our photoshop i'll click this and then i'll change the color to something like this i'll do ctrl s okay so i'll go to image inside blender and i'll do reload okay so the, the new image is loaded i'll come here and then i'll select okay so let's change and then change it back again to reload our new image okay so we have this beautiful ice cream can okay so let's change the base color to white and just like that we've integrated blender and photoshop and we can easily make changes to our our label and then it will be applied it will be updated inside of blender very simple okay so let me let me quickly make up my composition to do that i'll do shift d and then i'm going to add a new cup i'll do z to bring it up like this okay G, Z, bring it up like this. I'll do double R for it. I'll do R for rotate. I'll rotate it on the X axis, something like this. It's G, and then I'll bring it in a little bit. Okay, let me hide. Let me click on this, and then this to hide up mine. I'll do RZ, I'll rotate it, something like this, okay, and then I'll do Shift D to bring this one up, Z on the Z axis, so that we see what we are doing, okay, I'll do double R to freeform rotate, I'm going to rotate it to something like this, okay, I'll select this, R, Z, to rotate it somewhere here okay. and there we have it we have a 3d custom 3d ice ice cream cup ready for render i'll do shift s i'll do s to scale my i'll do s to scale my backdrop a little bit okay and I'm going to change the color of my backdrop to something like this all right so there we have it so you can stop here okay but great thing with this workflow is you you have a lot of you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to your material okay so let's say we want to make this ice cream this our ice cream and um, our ice cream brand embossed and shiny a little bit all we are going to do is we head over to blend we head over to photoshop okay we are going to save it into alpha so we click this and then we change our color to black 
okay and then we are going to hide all of the other layers okay and then we'll do ctrl alt s to export this only the logo into jpeg okay save okay so we have only the name in in, in, a, in a jpeg format okay so with this with this we can affect only the the the, the name of our brand like this so let's let's go to the label label material okay so we are going to add another P bsdf principle bsdf we we'll select our bsdf principle bsdf okay we we'll do shift d to shift d to duplicate we we'll bring it to somewhere here alt and right click to delete it from it okay and then we we'll do control control t and then we are going to add we are going to open so this is the png the label here this was what we just did we are going to click on it and then we hit open to open it up okay so if i plug this inside my surface this is what we have okay so we are going to mix these two shaders to do that we do shift a and then we set for mix shader okay i'm going to bring this shader here this shader here so i'm going to put this here and then i'll put this one here okay and i'm going to bring it i'm going to put this one into the surface okay so we have something like this okay i'll do alt a control right click to delete to 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 remove it from the base color so we have something like this we are going to use this image to we are going to use it as a mask to drive this mix shader here okay so we're going to click on this color then we put it into the factor so now what we can do is we have successfully divided separated this name the brand name i believe was from the main the main ice cream label okay so we can change the color and it will only affect the brand name because we are using it as we are using this as a as a mask for this okay so what we are going to do is we leave it at white and then we are going to decrease the roughness somewhere here so that we have a very reflective let me see if we can cut the reflection decrease the roughness to somewhere here okay and we'll do shift a we are going to add bump a bump node here and then we are going to put the color into the height and then we put the normal into normal here okay so we have our bump i hope you can see it let's decrease our strength a bit let's decrease our distance to something like 0.5 and then let's decrease our strength a little okay we have this going on here so we have our bump so this is the this, the, the, the power of working with um integrating our photoshop like this so we have a lot of flexibility with our labels when creating nice and cool mockups for our projects okay so let me bring it somewhere here let's change let's change our material to a different color okay let's position our camera nice okay so and this is what we have so it's time for render we come to cycles make sure it's your render engine is set to cycles we have a gpu compute we have a dp denoise ticked i'll come down to color management and then the look i'll go for high contrast okay so yes 
and then I'm going to hit render to render my image. So it's going to render. I'll show you the results a bit. So this is my final render. So to save this image, you go to image and then save. So I'll save it inside my ice cream folder. I'll name it final mockup. Then I'll do I'll change the format to JPEG and I'll increase quality to 100. I'll do save image. Guys, there you have it. So if you like this video and you learned something from it, make sure you share, like and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.